So you're just trying to figure out what this tubular hoop support is that everybody keeps talking about. Did I get your attention? Welcome back creators. My name is Shayna from KraussCreations.com and on this channel I bring you creative tutorials and small business advice. Today we're going to be talking about the Mighty Hoops Tubular Hoop Support, which is this awesome guy right here. So many of you guys have asked me two questions. It's either what is this used for or how do I install it? So a couple of my creators have reached out to me and asked me about the tubular hoop support because you might have seen it in the background of one of my videos or in the background of one of my lives. So I decided let me just jump on here today and show you guys what this thing is. So today's video I'm going to be answering your two questions. The most important part is this little metal piece that you see right here. You want to make sure that when you stick it into the bottom of the machine that this actually catches on to the bottom of the machine. You see here? I'm going to insert a picture right there in the top corner. You want to make sure that this little metal piece right here gets caught onto that hole right there. If it doesn't get caught onto that hole, it is not installed properly. You have two thumb screws right here. And it's so that you can make your hoop larger or you can shorten it down. There's a metal bar at the bottom and that's what's going to hook. You have a metal piece right here. This part is going to be under the arm of your machine like this. So the installation is just one step. And you're going to make sure, do you remember this little metal piece that we were talking about earlier? You're going to make sure that this little metal piece gets caught onto the bottom of the machine. All you're going to do is just slide it on and then the metal piece right here is going to automatically connect. So you're just going to go ahead, slide it onto the bottom of your arm. And you will hear it click. Listen. Did you hear that click? Did you hear that click? That means that it caught onto that bottom hole that we were talking about. And now, do you remember the two blue thumb screws that were at the bottom? You're going to go ahead and loosen those up and when you loosen it up it makes it so that you can make the support larger or you can make it shorter. So we're just going to go ahead and keep it short for right now. So 
So first I'm going to show you an 8x9 Mighty Hoop that doesn't have any fabric hooped just so that you can see what the tubular support looks like. Okay, so you have your tubular hoop support and you're going to use your bottom thumb screws here to make this larger or smaller. Depending on what your project is, if you're working on applique and the machine needs to pull out, you're gonna make it longer. So let's just go ahead and tighten that up. We're gonna go ahead and tighten up the screws because we like this position right here. Make sure that you don't tighten it up too much at the bottom because you don't want to strip it. So I showed you guys the empty 8x9 Mighty Hoop because I wanted to show you an example of what it looked like. But now I'm gonna show you an example of what an 8x9 Mighty Hoop with fabric on it, which is right here. I want to show you what it looks like with the tubular hoop support in action. So your fabric is hooped, your mighty hoop is hooped, you see your tubular hoop support at the bottom. If you don't feel like this is enough support, go ahead and turn your thumb screws lefty loosey righty tighty and go ahead and pull that out like let's say you want it a little bit longer go ahead and tighten it back up and you see here how nicely that supports your extra fabric today's question of the day is did you make your mom anything for mother's day if you did, I want to hear about it in the comments down below. So today we went over how to install the tubular hoop support and also the answer to your question. And I know that I personally needed the tubular hoop support because sometimes I'm working on projects where the fabric is really heavy and it starts weighing down the arms of my machine. If you followed any of the videos on my channel, you know that I'm all about making things last for years, I'm all about preventative maintenance, and I knew that this was just one thing that I could invest in that would help me in my business. So hopefully I was able to provide you value with my video today. If you learned anything, I would love to hear from you down in the comments down below. Let me know what you think about this product. Also, if you're new here, go ahead and click the red subscribe button so right now, two videos are going to pop up right here. Go ahead and watch them if you haven't seen them yet. I'll talk to you later. Bye.